today's video we have got another reloading project and I think this one is going to be a lot of fun a little over a year ago I picked up a box of Winchester active duty and this is a 115 grain ball training round and these bullets are traveling a little over 1300 feet per second pretty wicked round and a very accurate round. So this led to making the 740 duty round. So what we ended up doing was taking a 115 grain Nosler sporting handgun bullet and we sat that on top of 6.7 grains of power pistol and we were getting close to 1350 feet per second but with a hollow point where these are not a hollow point. So this is after the water jug test, and as you can see, got a lot of expansion there. You can see the pedals coming off. Pretty nasty round. Now we back up before SHOT Show, and I developed this round. Now this is an extreme bullet, 115 grain, but this bullet doesn't expand very much, and that is what that bullet looked like after... The water jug test. So what we decided to do with these, because the Nosler sporting handgun bullets cost about twice what these extreme bullet hollow points cost, we made this the 740 duty training round. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, let me show you. So extreme bullets makes a bullet called the X death, which I would assume stands for X defense and I picked these up over at Republic Ammunition there's a hundred of them in a box and if you look at the X def that is what this hollow point looks like versus the regular extreme bullet hollow point we are going to load these up exactly the way we loaded up the 740 duty round with the Nosler sporting handgun bullet with 6.7 grains of power pistol and we're going to take them out to the range see how well they group and we're going to do a water jug test with this bullet so let me show you what we're going to use federal small pistol primers this is what we used with the regular extreme bullet 115 grain hollow point and like I said we are going to be using power pistol powder and I've got 15 cases already primed, ready to go with those federal small pistol primers. And we're going to see if this bullet can perform as well as the Nosler sporting handgun bullet. All right, we got our 15 rounds loaded. And uh, they're all falling within about 1.095 1.10 they all passed case check so we're going to bag them up and uh, in the next video we'll get them out to the range and test them out but pretty happy with how they turned out so hopefully these perform well well I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.